This is a really simple job. Four plates, three sixteenths of an inch thick, going to be used for adjustable stools. A woodworker who's making some adjustable stools needed four brackets that ultimately will be hidden inside the chair. Uh, so they had to be six inches by six inches. I chose to use three sixteenths steel. It was pre-cut. Just went to the metal shop, found some six by six, bought four of them, and started to use those. Uh, getting a few center punches so that my drill press runs straight on each one of these. There's about five holes to drill because he has to mount it into the wood and then of course a center hole for the screw. I'm using a cheap skill drill press. I think I bought it at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's not that powerful but I've been using it for years. You can see the rust and as long as you go slow, take your time, it'll drill through pretty much any thickness of material no problem aluminum steel brass it doesn't really matter uh, typically when I drill I don't use fluid unless I'm going to the bigger hole like here for example it's a 7 8 hole saw and I am using some lubrication so that I don't burn up the burn up the bit now what I'm using here is actually used motor oil I don't recommend doing that because if you spill it on the concrete, now you have an oil stain. The edges are square, so of course you want to round those off just in case you know somebody runs their hand inside. You don't want them to get cut. I always round the edges, clean up the burrs from the shear on my saw. I think I'm using a 60 grit paper here. It doesn't take too long uh, to run every side down to a nice rounded edge all the way, uh, both sides, all four pieces took me probably five minutes. It, it really wasn't that long at all. Um, at this point, once they're all cleaned up, they are ready to be tacked. Uh, so the nuts that I have for this job, they're zinc coated one inch nuts. Uh, even though I've taken the steel down to shiny bright metal for good clean tacks, uh, you can still see the smoke, the zinc plating cooking off. Now whenever I tack these, one tack went on just fine, kind of a speed tack, no filler needed. Uh, but on the other side, every single time I had to use filler to get it to sit straight. I don't, I don't know why, I think it just pulled up on one side whenever I tacked it. Just a little bit, so I couldn't get a tack without filler on the other side. Uh, now, I'll, I'll go ahead and call it out now, I am wearing shorts, short sleeve shirt. Uh, the welding part of this job only took 10 or 15 minutes from start to finish and I did get a sunburn on my left arm so I don't uh, endorse welding in shorts and short sleeves. Now it's TIG welding so there's no sparks but um, I would recommend you know at least having long sleeves. Now you'll notice my welding table um, I'm moving shops right now I built a shop in my backyard but it doesn't have electricity yet so my TIG welder which takes 220 bolts to run, I have a 220 outlet in my garage, so uh, my wife's truck is there, made a makeshift table off of an old stool that I had, and welding here. Now, the table's not high enough, I'm not very comfortable, but since there's only four pieces to weld, I uh, went ahead and went with it, no problem at all. But if I had more, I would wish I had a better setup. So the filler I'm using is 308L, stainless filler. It's 1 16th, and then my tungsten is 1 16th thoriated. I like to use different styles. That's just what I had in my torch. I am using the stubby gas lens from Jody at Welding Tips and Tricks and his tick finger. Um, I like his products, and it makes that heavy torch, that heavy air-cooled torch, a little bit smaller. I've got uh, full tungsten in there, so I've got the long backing cap. The machine I'm using is a Precision TIG 185 from Lincoln Electric. You can't see it because it's behind the truck there, um, but that's that's the machine for TIG welding that I use pretty much all the time. I don't have a water cooler. It works just fine. So these brackets, there's about a three-quarter inch weld on each side to minimize the distortion. So fill it in one side three-quarter inch, flip it around on the other side of the nut, for what it is, that's really all that is necessary. There's nothing else needed. I don't need to weld it all the way around. Um, it's not going to be load bearing. There's going to be a 
a screw that goes through all the way and uh, a stool on top so it swivels up and down or rotates up and down to make it change height. Uh, it's going to be a classic style stool. This whole job took probably 45 minutes. I've sped it up here to maybe a six minute video, but it really didn't take that long. You may notice I'm having to wear my eyeglasses for TIG welding. Uh, I have a new to me welding hood, which is nice auto darkening Miller Elite, but for small welds like this apparently I can't see well enough without my eyeglasses any other style of welding don't need them but for this I do here's the final product just a few welds on each side 45 minute job and it is out the door